what's going on everybody welcome back to another video we got a couple things going on today first we gotta go hit the car wash because this thing is super dirty haven't washed it in like two weeks um, then we're gonna hit my buddy shop over at a uh, JBK performance see if we can get a dash light removed there's a dash light I've been having that I've been wanting to get removed and then uh, we need to do an oil change uh, I usually change my oil every 3,000 miles. We just hit 3,000 miles, so we got to go to the store, hit the dealership, get a filter, and, uh, yup, yeah, let's get the day started. Let me give you guys a cold start. Check out that C8. Those things are pretty nice, man. Would be nice to add one of those to the fleet. Oh, we got a little scat pack right there, too. Man, everybody's out today. Ever since I left the dealership, I've been seeing a bunch of cars. And I'm not even recording. I was trying to get next to that C8, see? See how it pulls, but... He went a different direction, but I'm pretty sure I'll see him around. We're almost at my buddy shop. Uh, I never told you guys, but that little four low light, that's the one that I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, when we did the Hellcat swap on this truck, the after the dyno, the transmission didn't want to shift. It like went into lamp mode, kind of a, uh, stayed like in second gear or something like that didn't want to shift out a second it was kind of like a limp mode we thought the transmission went out on the tune on the dyno when we tuned it but um it ended up being the transfer case position sensor so we switched that out and then the transmission started shifting but that light never went away so uh let's uh pull up on my boy and see if we can get that light taken care of and hopefully he's there. He ain't answering. Usually when he don't answer, he's busy. Or he just ain't at the shop. There's some Saturdays he he's there and some Saturdays he ain't. So uh, hopefully he's there. Let's, uh, let's see. We just pulled up to my buddy's shop. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but uh, this is the, the car that they race. Usually uh, this is like a shop car right here. Uh, they've been racing it. I believe it's, uh, it was on Street Outlaws as well. Uh, let's check it out real quick. It's pretty loud.
dyno right now. But as you guys can see, man, we got all kinds of cars here. We got Chrysler's, Camaros, Mustangs, Vets. That 240 right there, man, is something vicious. We got F-Bodies. That's my buddy's shop right there, JBK Performance. You guys need any work done or anything, come on by. You guys talk to Jesse, he'll get you guys right. Any performance needs, man, he, he don't play around when it comes to racing. Here, let me show you guys this uh this C10 right here, man. That thing's beautiful. We got this uh C10 right here, man, on those wheels right there. Thing looks nice. We got a SS right here. A little sleepers, man. But yeah, you guys need any work done, you guys come on by to my buddy's shop. We just, uh, I actually came and got the oil here too, so we're going to do the AMS oil. We're going to try that out. Got a CTSV here. Yeah, there's a lot going on here, man. My, my boy, he's been doing this for a couple years. This is a shop car right here, a little 240 with a LS. Like I said, I believe this is the car that they use to uh, film on uh, Street Outlaws. But yeah, man. And he works on regular cars too, man. You don't got to come down with a race car or anything. You guys just need any regular maintenance, oil changes, or brakes. He does everything. He's real good at what he does. I don't want to film the dyno because I don't, I don't really know the people. Usually, if I know somebody, I mean, I ask them and they're cool. I don't know the the person. Sometimes people don't want to uh, uh, get recorded, or they don't want people to know what they what they did on the dyno. So I'd rather not not record that. All right, so I left the shop. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't take the light off. As you guys can see, it's still there. Um, the scanner itself wasn't gonna erase it. Uh, it's a stored code that I believe, or would believe that still stayed there when we did the uh, the initial uh, tune, uh, when that uh, transfer case position sensor went out. So uh, we gotta go deeper into it only thing is my buddy didn't have time as you guys seen he was uh doing a dyno and i mean people pay for the dyno time so i didn't want to take up his time my buddy still even kind of took a little break from the dyno to come check out the truck and help me out real quick um i did get the ams oil as you guys can see it's the first time i'm gonna use the oil i've never tried the ams oil before but uh i heard a lot of good things about it so i'm gonna try it out so yeah, I think we gotta come by another time. Uh, I'm gonna see if uh, disconnecting the battery would erase the light. Um, I heard some stuff about disconnecting the battery and it resets the the ECU. So hopefully uh, that will work. And if it doesn't, then we gotta go deeper into it. And uh, well, throw the HP tuners uh, on it and go deep into the ECU and maybe manually erase the code itself and if it pops back up then we got different issues but it doesn't seem that way the trucks actually running pretty good there's nothing wrong with it. I mean it's running as it should it's just that light popped up uh, when we initially tuned the the truck and uh, there's these trucks have a lot of a um, lot of issues with the electrical stuff and um, it's a known known thing for these uh these srt jeeps i don't know if the regular jeeps do it but i know the srts a lot of people uh burn through modules and stuff like that so uh 
hopefully disconnecting the battery would work i think it will because the truck's not doing anything funny it's not binding the transfer case ain't doing nothing funny so uh we're gonna try that out and if not we'll just come back another day and uh, go deeper into it with the hp tuners good morning uh it's a new day i'm actually continuing the video on a new day i ran out of battery yesterday uh, when i was on my way back home so uh, I didn't do the oil change, I ran out of time, had other things to do, uh, but right now I went to a Home Depot and got a, uh, a drain pan, uh, I seen online, it's like a squared one, holds 11 quarts and has a little uh, filter holder, I'm just going to try that out, because the round one I use, it doesn't uh, really work, it's a 7 quart and the truck usually holds about 7.5 it always makes a mess so i seen that this one's a little better so we're gonna try it out i'll show you guys the the drain pan uh when i get home oh and before i forget this is the oil pan that i was telling you guys about it's a flow tool oil pan it holds a uh, 11 quarts and it has this little thing right here for it so you can put your uh, oil filter and let it drain it was like eight bucks at uh home depot not that bad and then uh this is gonna be the oil i'm gonna use this time the ams oil uh signature series it's a 040 for the hemis you can use it on the regular srts hellcats whatever takes 040 heard a lot of good things about this oil we're gonna try it out this time i was first time using it on the engine actually i have the amsoil atf plus four on my transfer case and it removed a lot of uh slippage that i was uh having with the transfer case so i'm pretty sure it's gonna work wonders with this engine all right so i got the new oil drained it's got a new filter in it but there's something I wanted to show you guys. I know a lot of people know about this already, but just in case you don't, in here, almost all Hellcats come with the oil cooler. You gotta drain that. So I took out about half a quart, maybe a little more than half a quart of oil, and that's dirty oil. So if you don't change that, that's half a quart of dirty oil that's circulating through your system. So, I know a lot of people go to the dealership for warranty reasons, but um, it doesn't hurt to just make sure and ask them to drain the the oil cooler oil that's in there. I know most, most of the times dealerships, they don't really give a shit, so. And if you do it yourself, it doesn't hurt to do it. It just takes about another three minutes just to drain that. So, the oil change is done. I don't know if it's just me, but it does sound a lot less noisy to me with the AMS oil. I didn't record the oil change process. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube about that. You guys could just look it up. It's pretty basic and simple. I just wanted to do a before and after on the AMS oil. So I used to use the the pens oil from the dealership but this time i use the uh, ams oil it's supposed to last longer as well so we'll see i'll let you guys know once i uh put some miles on this with this oil but yeah i think i'm gonna leave this video off right here make sure you guys like comment and subscribe hopefully you guys uh like the video and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one